Hey everyone, I'm Nevi Matrum, and I was just uploading a screenshot to Steam that I'd taken with my native screenshot tool, and I realised maybe people don't know how to modify Steam screenshots. Because I'm sure people know how to upload artwork to their profile, because there's just an uploader for that, but if you take a screenshot of a game, or inside of a game, and you want the image that you upload to not directly be the raw screenshot, or you want to upload a screenshot that you took at another time through another method, there's a relatively easy way to do it that I'm sure, well, if you haven't heard of, you might think it's a bit hard, but you might have seen it used without realising. So I'll just quickly show you the technique so you can upload any image as a Steam screenshot, or just modify your screenshots as you'd wish. So of course the first thing you need to do is take a screenshot. This screenshot can be anything as long as it's in the game that you want it to say that it's come from. So for example, um, let's take a screenshot of Half-Life 2 Lost Cursed. I think this will be something relatively spoiler free that I can take a screenshot of. Because I've just been playing through episode 2. But um, that's something you might want to play on your own time and not get spoiled in a random YouTube video. So let me just open up Lost Coast and we'll take a screenshot of something and I will show you how to basically change the screenshot. You can even replace it with whatever you'd like, essentially. So let's just load up into the game quite quickly. Okie dokie, welcome to the Lost Coast. So, when taking a screenshot in Source, a side note, I'd recommend hiding the user interface and hiding your view model. To do that, press the key to open the console and type, um, and if you don't have that bound, you go to Options, Keyboard, Advanced, and en click Enable Developer Console and tick it. Then you need to have um, Toggle Developer Console bound to a key. I use this key, which is the key on the left of one underneath Escape, known as Grave, some call it Tilde. But yes, anyway, once you've actually bound the console to work and you've confirmed that it's all working and opened it, first thing you might need to do is hide your hood. So you type r underscore draw view model space zero, your weapon will disappear, which is good for taking screenshots. And if you type r underscore draw vgui space zero, every GUI will disappear, which, which means you do have to remember what your console state is kind of in, but it's relatively easy. So yeah, imagine I want to take this screenshot, but I want to modify it. So let's press F12 to take a Steam screenshot. You will need the overlay enabled for both the game and globally for this. There we go. So I've taken a screenshot. Now if you were doing this in the middle of the game, open the console again with the key, press the up arrow to get what you last typed. Then if you press backspace, one, and enter, you'll see you've just typed r underscore draw vgui1. You don't have to hide the hood in this way, this is just how I do it. You just have to remember that up command gives you the last command you typed, and to re-enable the gui you need to make it be a 1 instead of a 0. But regardless of how you took your screenshot or what game it was in, after you've taken your screenshot, quit the game. I have a key bound to just ruin the entire game by crashing it. Because it's really faster to get out by just crashing the game than it is to um, close it. Okay, once you've got that screenshot and you want to modify it, make your steam a little wider so that you can actually see. Okay, here's the screenshot that I just took. And I want to modify it or I want to replace it completely. So the first thing you need to do is install the image editor known as GIMP, or the GNU Image Manipulation Program. Not the world's best acronym, but you know, it's a good piece of software that you can use to do stuff like this or any image manipulation, I use it for all of mine. So what you want to do is go to Manage My Screenshot, click it and press Show on Disk. It doesn't matter whether you're on Linux or Windows or whatever. And you will see your screenshot. If, you, if there's a lot of screenshots, look for the one you just took. And essentially you'll see your screenshot here. And you'll also see it in the Thumbnails folder, which is also important. So what you want to do is open it with GIMP. And essentially, now you can change your screenshot. You can draw on it, you can replace it with other images, you can do what you want. For this example, I don't know, what should I do? Let's, um, let's replace it with this wallpaper from Windows Vista. 
obviously you can just edit the image from the screenshot you can make it black and white you can draw on it or you can completely replace it with another image like i'm doing right here you can obviously spend more time in precision and actually making the image you know fitting or do whatever you want with the image you can do whatever you want so once you've got this flatten the image to make sure it's all as you'd wish because steam only supports jpegs with only one layer no transparency and then you want to export it with Control shift e or you can find it in the file menu to replace the file that you just took in steam um basically none of this will really apply if you set it i always have it on save color profile so it looks right across different things and then export and now if you look the file that we just took as a screenshot is now this replacement that i've made now that's almost done but there is one more important step you have to go into the thumbnails folder and you'll see this version of the picture which if you open that in gimp as well you can see this one's really small it's very low resolution and pixely this is the little preview picture that you get in steam when you see screenshots that aren't fully expanded you need to replace this as well or it'll look like you've not replaced your picture in that small view so what you do is it's a little strange but basically if you go back to your original image here and go to image scale image now if you took a 16 by 9 image which you most likely have uh, set it to linear interpolation and then put a 200 in this top box and a 113 in the second box and then if you press scale your original picture has got really low reds and pixely but we're not going to save this we're just going to copy this with control control a control c over the image that we just got from the thumbnails folder now be very careful save the one that you got as a thumbnail over the thumbnails image and then close gimp so to do a final check your normal screenshot is a full res replacement image in 1080p or whatever you've got and the one in the thumbnail folder is a 200 by 112 if you're in 16 by 9 thumbnail version of that image and that is literally the all of the editing you need to do now all you have to do is exit steam fully make sure it's completely dead wait for it to fully close in the bar there we go now start steam again and you'll see if it worked in the regular steam screenshot manager essentially so you go to your library find that game again here it is and you'll see in the small preview here and in the big preview it looks correct so let's just upload this as test for youtube and there we go so let's upload the image as a public image and in the small preview and in the big actual screenshot you'll now see that you've completely replaced a thumbnail image with whatever you want be it an original version of the regular image that you've edited or with a completely original brand new image of your own choice and yeah it counts as a half-life 2 lost coast screenshot but it can be whatever you want so yeah that's how to replace screenshots on steam in any way you wish in a relatively easy way Th thanks for watching